Hey guys, welcome back to Diet Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we are jumping back into the Pacific. We are on episode five. 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 But uh, no, we ended up on an island called Pavuvu. Oh my God. What? Pavuvu, part of the Solomon Island chain, is just north of Guadalcanal. All kinds of things just grew in perfusion, especially the rat population. The land crabs would come out at night, and they would get into your shoes. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, did your anxiety just spike, too? And we're told that the <laughs> yeah, I already feel like I want to cry again. Yeah. But the combat on Peleliu would last more than two months. Oh, my God. And would become God. as deadly as any island invasion of World War II. And that was supposed to be, like, their downtime. I don't think you could train or anything like that. It was a nightmare. Every time that man I talks, I just like want to hug him. <laughs> no, and then I just look at him. I'm like, "That's." I hope it's quick and easy for you, Lucky. Mm. Don't worry about ending up like me. Mm. Mm. And That's that was so gut haunting. wrenching because it's like, even if he goes home, it doesn't go away mm -hmm. for any of them. Mm -hmm. And I just have to sit in that and like. Truly, there's no, like, there's nothing, like, I don't know. You just can't bring light yeah, to no. it in in the full, like, full picture of things. Sorry, I just saw a name on that screen, and I'm very confused. What? That's Rami Malek's in this, and I have not seen him once. Who is that? Um, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> but if you but see... I haven't, I haven't seen him in, I haven't seen, I'll point him out if he yeah. pops up, but if I just saw his up, name. Sorry, I know you were like, no, you're okay. really heartfelt. No, moment, you're but fine. I was like, thinking, we're going like, to have a whole heartfelt moment through the whole thing, so we can take some time to focus on whoever played Freddie Mercury for a second. There we go. No. When we say back the attack, every chance you get. <laughs> <sighs> now the kiss on the cheek and we got to go. You have no idea what's coming at you. Hmm. Better keep your head down. How scary was it? Guadalcanal. Mm -mm. Uh, mm. Freeze up or make a mistake is all. I hope I can be George. As... Don't feel like you need to prove nothing. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I don't... You know what I mean? Mm. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, true. I, I mean, to be his brother. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like... Because he doesn't want to be like, hey, it's terrifying. It's a terrible experience because he's about to get shipped off to have to go. But also it's like, but don't don't be a hero to just be a hero. I know. Like, I can't... I, oh, they're going to make us watch this whole Pavuvu mm. Island and I'm going to get... Looks like Hawaii. Does it? No, I've never been to Hawaii. Me either. so funny they're like look at the new guys and it's like dude like looking for how company but it's like each group that comes in mm -hmm. you know like no to any area mm, my stomach hurts oh, look at that foot i know is that just like really bad sunburn this... oh there's a there okay that's who it is okay these guys are that's rami malik by the way He's really young there. Oh, okay. Oswald, Eugene Sledge. You mortars too? Riflemen. Then we'll ignore you. Mm. That's Snafu. Mm -hmm. That man's DeLong. Now I'm Corporal Bergen. Find yourself a bunk. Taken. Mm. Mm. It's giving Forrest Gump vibes. It's like I get that there's like a hierarchy mm -hmm. like within the thing, but it's also like y'all gotta be together at some point, dude. A little like, bit more supportive for sure. Okay. He may have been looks on familiar. I <laughs> he was on <laughs> Fuck you all. Looks like <laughs> crawled up my pee hole. <gasps> hey, welcome home, Carver. Hey. Something's wrong. Get up off my deck. Captain Haldine, sir. What's this about, Marie? 
But try not to dislocate a shoulder or break an arm. We need both of you men help. Sir. Sir. Carry on. Waterman, just like you. Rain, dude. Oh my god. Oh. That's a lot of man ass. Oh, sorry. Did you miss the the penis? <laughs> yeah, I did. Thing was thangin'. He is, strong. he is off his rocker. Working party. Three you boots go with snafu. Hurry up. You heard it, Sergeant. Now. Let's clean out oil barrels pretty soon. No smoking. <laughs> While he's sitting mm -hmm. on like the freaking. I like to watch the new guy sweat. He's a jerk. Uh, no, he's got a a a, a toad. Mr. Robot. Sorry, that's the name of the show it was on. It wasn't I, oh. Robot. It was Mr. Robot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> Just based on what they said at the beginning, like, I feel like for Eugene, this is the first place he's uh -huh. coming into. Is It's dry. It's like literally driving me insane right now. Like, it's all I can think about. I know. He gave us a little bit too much information. What's it like? Well, that's the thing. He's going to, what, have this conversation with him about what it's like when, yeah. when this is going to be the worst that they're... I slept with a woman in Melbourne. Good for you. I'm not bragging. Well, that's that one, right? And then way down there, as far as you can go. And that's what it's like. <gasps> okay. Dude, how do people do it? How do. Also, it's like just really sad, like watching, like, you know, you can tell he's been through something and you're like, I can't even, I'm going to see what he's been through, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So I don't, you don't quite get it either. Which like shows you like mm -hmm. how much isolation they go through yep. because it's like, even within the military, like mm -hmm. you're still isolated based on your experience. Mm -hmm. Fire! Mm. Dude, I'm actually really good at shooting guns. Don't know how how that was something that I'm good at, but it ended up being. Oop. Keep your fucking weapon pointed downrange, or I will shove that fucking piece up your sorry fucking ass. Now look at me, Lieutenant. Gunny's right. Yeah, dude, uh, he's probably not kidding. Max Freely. We've already seen friendly fire go down. Yeah. You see Phillips? He might catch him back down at the docks. I mean, he told them, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh. <sighs> Sid was my best customer. Okay, question. God created everything, right? Heavens, seven seas, marine. I don't even want to know where this is going to go. It's going to be dark. There. God created Japs too, right? Oof. Well, what we do is up to us. He gives us a choice. Free will. Right. Except he's God, of course, so he knows what we're gonna do before we do it. That makes us chumps or gods of sadists, and either way, I got no use for him. So what do you believe in? I believe in ammunition. Mm. Mm. You go ahead and keep it. I don't know why I have it in the first place. Mm. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Pocket Bible. Mm, which is kind of a big, like, that's that's bold. He's basically saying, like, I'm not going to take that from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Follow the man in front of you and get off that team. Oh, here we go. You hear the music? Mm -hmm. Clear your weapons of sand. Yeah, it's like, and you know when he, like, he just doesn't even know, but yeah. I think he's catching mm -hmm. on as best as he can. Mm hmm. Like it's like if the most if the one kid with the most like brute and attitude is mm -hmm. vomiting before the because the ship's about to get off yeah mm -hmm. out of nervousness and Eugene he's just like he's so new and mm -hmm. like he seems so sweet and I, I, mm. I get oh my god look at that it's awful to say but I feel like they were mentally prepared like some of them mm -hmm. were already mentally like. Mm -hmm put through it physically and like he just like yeah oh my god uh. <laughs> uh. 
Eugene, get up. Oh, mm. come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. God. Mm. Easy on the water. Easy on the water. What the hell is love coming from? Oh my God. Oh my God. They got us bracket if we gotta move. Let's go. Let's get your ass out of this hole. Let's go, damn it. You gotta get your ass out of that hole right now. No, come on. Mm. That's so hard. Like the first time you're seeing battle, and it's just a full blown, almost ambush. I mean, not ambush, but no, very active like, war. Well, the thing is, yeah. like, right? They're pulling up mm -hmm. on the beach, and if they have somebody that's supposed to go mm -hmm. back to the ship, then it's like th it's pulling away. Right. L literally leaving them, like, in that. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I can't, I can't. <sighs> yeah, oh. <gasps> They're in the holes? Oh my god. <gasps> Smoke. <sighs> Who's that? Oh, Bill! Bill! <gasps> Drop my Gorman! Gorman! Oh, f me, Gorman. dude. Hey, everything's gonna be fine, Bill. Okay? Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Damn it, Gorman! Bill, let me carry him back. Bill. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I should have just watched Band of Brothers instead, dude. Son of a bitch, does it? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <sighs> The freaking tanks are not good. Mm, so close. Oh, come on. Oh. Dude. Rounds complete. Oh. No. Hey, oh, f yeah. yeah, dude. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, <gasps> okay. 
Come on, don't do that to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Where is everybody? Uh, yeah, know? he's so separated. Lucky! Lucky! Runner! Oh, runner, okay. Are you okay? Thirsty? Yeah. Who's your got hit? <laughs> keep moving, keep moving! Let's go, let's go! This is like the third island, third massive battle. Like. Going Asiatic? What you gonna do when you're stuck in feet when the apps bust through the line? Yeah. Is he smoking yet? You. Eugene just makes me want to cry, dude. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that guy. Gold is what? 30 bucks an hour? <laughs> Take the first watch. <laughs> Anything moves? Yeah, it's like you said they just drop bombs all night. Oh, it's I'm like so that, happy this is over. Easy. I'm sorry. I don't think I could have like I that's... don't even I have no Like sometimes I avoid like being in the feeling of things. <laughs> <laughs> um which like I don't know. And I think like because we took like a second to get to this episode. Um <laughs> Like, I'm really trying hard not to keep crying. Yeah. Sorry. Like, if you see my mouth or my face start doing weird stuff, I'm having a real hard time to, like, but, like, try I don't know. Stop. Um, uh, I guess the best way to say, like, the biggest takeaway from this episode is watching Eugene go in with fresh eyes and not seeing it. And then just the absolute contrast from everybody who's been in it. Mm hmm. Like, just how, like, I don't want to say, like, disgusting because it's, like, what, what happens, but, like, how desensitized, like, Snafu is to it and everything else and just, like, how he's portrayed in comparison and, like, to every, yeah. Yeah. So, like, we're just going to do that to you, but the fact, like, you see, like, the shining, but he's like, oh, here, take mine. Like, I have a knife. It's going to take me. It's going to take me way to, like, this open. And then his next thought is, like. Um, is to <clears throat> go get the gold out of the enemy's mouth. I again, it's war. It changes people. You are desensitized, and because if you're not, then it breaks you. You know, to a certain point, you kind of have to. You have to put that armor up. But I um. You said you said that you wish you watched Brand Brothers. I will say this: like Band of Brothers, uh, breaks your heart because 
you do build such uh, bonds with these characters. I kind of like talked about in the first episode and like we really like we have some bonds with these, but like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, it's in a different way. This is just like. It is it paints a way darker picture. Consistently. Yeah. Well, and then it's like, yeah, it's like you get like somebody like Eugene who's like fresh and new and like just doesn't understand also to like the first episode like they really like fake you out when they go into guadalcanal like mm-hmm. as if like the bl- like guns are going to be blazing like when they hit the beach and then it's like no like that that's this you know it's it's on this island that that happens and it's like i don't know like i was already crying at the beginning because it's like literally like like you're just slowly like like and you know so many of them are gonna die like you know, like, and then it's like, 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 he, la- la- I can't say like, lucky is like, can, can we give that man a break? Oh, like, no. Can we fucking give that guy a break? Like, he's literally like, how many people does he like? Like, I mean, I know other people are like seeing people get shot, but like, he's literally like, yeah, he's like, been at, I mean, his whole company's been at every and then battle. It's just but... like, it's awful because it's like Bill, right? Like gets shot and then he's like he's just like literally laying there just saying like i'm sorry and it's like and you know like you're like waiting for somebody to show up to help and it's like what like like is he dead did he die like you know what i mean because it's dead. and then but because you're just moving on you know like he doesn't even know like he's just like he got hit like he mm-hmm. can't even tell like and then he's like running around looking for his friends um <laughs> And, like, he can't find anybody, and then finally, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, like, I don't know. It's just a lot. And, like, that whole episode felt like it... I mean, it didn't even feel like it was that long. Um, no, yeah. But, like, it it's didn't. just, like, I don't know. So much, and, it, like... It, it's a lot. Um, so... And... Oh, I don't know. There are so many comments, like, since we, like, most recently dropped the first episode where everyone was like well you need to watch hacksaw ridge all right so we started when i when we first like did when i was watching band of brothers we did i started with saving for ryan did fury and then hacksaw ridge was the third one i did in between band of brother episodes that was the first time i had actually done a reaction video watching the movie by myself without chad because before chad had been watching it with me oh yeah yeah this was the first one that i did really by myself it was hacksaw ridge and it takes place in pacific and there's all these comments like well now maple and ariana have to watch hacksaw ridge like i already watched it i will tell you this right now and no like i don't care about promo from a movie from a year ago i bawled yeah. so like don't get me wrong i cried in all of them but hacksaw ridge like I, i'm pretty sure there's like something in my archives on my instagram it, like it messed me up i was so mad at you i was like you left me alone to watch this and like there's all these like criticisms of the movie about how like it's just so fanatical and like the shots are not great or whatever i was like but it was like the shots not great it's just literally one of the most heartbreaking stories it's, it's very inspiring but like uh, that that messed me up more than the previous two movies yeah and this is messing me up way worse than what I mean, like, what war movie did I watch already? I think you watched Fury. I watched Fury, yeah. and I watched, um, oh, freaking, I watched one other one, but it, it nothing like this. Uh, that, it, like, the yeah. two that I watched, God, who's the guy from Anger Management? Who is that guy? Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. What? A few Good Men. A few Good Men. So I've watched A Few Good Men, and I've watched Fury. Yeah. I don't even know what happens in A Few Good Men, but I mean, Fury messed few, me up too. But, a, but few, like, a Few Good Men, by the end of it, it's like you get you, like you get that hurrah, like that, like, got you. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, n- I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm a crier, so who knows? Maybe I did shed a tear, but not like, no, the, neither of those movies left me feeling broken the way like this is. And so it's like, that doesn't even like scratch Mm-mm. the surface. And so that's why I think, like, you came from a different spot yeah. in war movies when we started. And I felt like our perspectives, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't really think that I knew, like, how to feel at the beginning mm-hmm. of watching this. And so it's, like, by this episode, like, in, it's, like, I don't know. Like, because in the other ones, it's, like, you know, you get that comedic relief well, because it's yeah. written to be a movie. And well, it's that's, written to it's not based on that true, Hollywood it's, sprinkle it, over it, it. This is really not as much true events. And with Hacksaw Ridge, Hacksaw Ridge is also based on a true event, too. Yeah. And a real person. 
And it's just like, it guts you. It guts you. They yeah. saw this. They experienced this. They're recounting it. I mean, granted, it's still a little bit more of Hollywood being put on for it. You know what I mean? But still, at the end of the day, like, those those men that we see in the beginning saw this and went through no, it. No, and that's what I'm so saying. It and you hurt. see it on mm-hmm. their faces, like, mm-hmm. when they recalling it. It's just like, ugh. Anyway, um, this is a longer discussion than I thought we were going to get. No, so. that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then it just gets, like, more difficult because then yeah. I think about, like, the people that, like, I mm-hmm. love or have loved mm-hmm. and, like... It's a lot. Like, the things that they don't tell me. Yeah. hmm Well, uh, thanks for watching with us. Um, We're going to take a week-long break. <laughs> yeah. At least we stopped crying by the end of the discussion, because that was hard. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching with us. Yeah. Bye, guys. Love See you. See ya.